What is up, guys? Megazardzy here, and today I have two replays for you. They're both pretty funny. I just thought I'd share these. I have a Ranbat for you, actually, right now. And then the next one's gonna be PU, back to what I've been playing. Anyway, um, just go right in, I guess. You don't have much to say about a Rand battle and team preview or anything. Anyway, lead Crawdaunt against the Grumpig. Gonna Crab Hammer, because I don't have knockoff. Goes in the Venusaur, just like a fuck ton of damage. Not gonna kill, so I'm gonna go into Wormadam. Wormadam's gonna take a Giga Drain. No problem. It's a Mega Venusaur. It's not gonna do too much. Goes for the Leech Seed as I get up rocks. That's fine. At this point, I'm just gonna try to threaten this, because Wormadam can only Jar Ball. Go into Chimeco, and now he goes for the Sleep Powder. I'm like, Fuck. So I'm going to go into Tornadus as he leech seeds me. That's pretty much okay. This is like Expert Belt Tornadus with U-Turn Heat Wave Hurricane Focus Blast. Goes into Dionce as I just U-Turn because it's not staying in. Back into Crawdaunt. This goes into Venusaur and unfortunately with the Mega Boost he's going to be able to take two Crab Hammers uh, and after Leech Seed Recovery. So I'm going to go out into Chimeco which is a misclick. I meant to go into Wormadam but unfortunately... I was dumb and I misclicked, so uh, he's going to be able to leech seed me, get even more health back, and now Crowdont still can't two, -ki two it KO this thing, and he reveals the, gar the Darkrai. I'm like, oh shit. Basically, that's sort of how it works in Ranbats. Not all legendaries are broken, but Darkrai is almost certainly the best. It is just amazing. Go into Wormadam. As he's going to Dark Void me because Jamaica woke up, which is unfortunate because I could have taken a Dark Pulse and just kept Gyro Balling until he died. Uh, so i got to switch out. Go into Vespic one because I have a Vespic one. I think my last Mon is a Life Orb Lopany, which is pretty dumb, not going to lie. He actually crits me with a Dark Pulse, which uh, normally wouldn't do anything, but even so, this that crit didn't matter at all. He's just going to switch out. Go into Bastiodon, which is annoying. I really don't want him getting rocks up as I roost. And uh, I'm going to go into Chimeco. Let's see, actually Toxics and does not go for Stealth Rocks, which is really good. Stel hazards in general are, like, the best thing you can get in Rainbats. And he reveals his final Pokemon with Chandelure as I try to taunt him. And nothing on my team can take a hit from Chandelure. Nothing. So he's just going to Fire Blast. That's going to kill me. I'm like, fuck. Go into Tornadus because everything else just dies. Crawdon's too slow. Uh, go for Hurricane. Does a lot. Fire blasts, that does a lot, and I'm gonna hit my second hurricane. Let, let me keep a tally. That's two 70% accurate moves. Goes into Dionce, I'm just gonna U-turn out, get some more regenerator, and uh go into Crawdon, predicting a rock type move. Is he actually subs? Now I don't want to take a uh fairy type move. Is he reflect? I'm like, okay, I guess he doesn't have any moves. Go into Vespic one as he actually diamond storms. I'm like Oh shit, he is the Reflect, Sub, plus Defense, and I'm going to go into Tornadus, just get some more Regenerator, as I can go into Wormadam, he Diamond in Storms, and he's just going to keep boosting up. Like, oh my god, Wormadam, wake up and Gyro Ball this thing. And, uh, unfortunately, not only am I not going to do that, but he's going to get a, like, a max roll or whatever right here. So I'm going to go into Lopany, and this looks really dumb, because three Life Orb Returns are not going to be able to break this sub, but Lopney can take two more Diamond Storms, and the thing about Diamond Storm is that it doesn't have a lot of PP. Add that on the pressure from Vespiguin that one time, and I actually stall out his Diamond Storms as he goes for one final one, so I can just go into Tornadus and Focus Blast as he sets up a Reflect. He's out. Uh, I'm just going to Heat Wave, see what his last move is, as it is Psychic, which is cool, because I can just go into Crawdaunt, start setting up some Dragon Dances, because maybe I can come back as 5-2 right here. 5-2. Like, damn. So, uh, I'm just going to start Dragon Dancing up as he finally learns to switch out, goes into the Venusaur, and unfortunately, because of the Reflect, I'm not going to be able to KO. So I'm going to go into Tornadus, thinking he's going to Giga Drain. He's Sleep Powder, is bad play. Had he missed, that could have just choked the game away. Like, shit, don't do that. Uh, so I'm just going to sit here being Leech Seed and all that, hoping I can wake up. As I finally wake up, hit my third 70% accurate move, get a Confusion, which isn't going to matter at all, because I'm just going to kill him with a U-turn right here, get a crit, which didn't matter. It didn't. But the guy starts complaining in the comments, which is cool. I have to go into Chrono as he goes into Venusaur. He's going to miss his Sleep Powder as I Crab Hammer. Really, there's no reason to Sleep Powder. Giga Drain was the better play, but I mean, that works. Going to Aqua Jet. Still not going to be able to kill. And he's going to Giga Drain back, so uh, the Sleep Powder miss did not matter. Uh, but the guy kept complaining about that, too. Going to Tornadus. Hit another Hurricane. That's, what, four 70% accurate moves? Goes into Bastiodon. 
I'm gonna go for the Focus Blast. Hit five 70% accurate moves. Never miss. Goes into Grumpig now. I'm gonna go for the U-turn, get a crit, which did matter because that is a 2 KO instead of a 3 KO, but really, what's a Grumpig gonna do to a Tornadus? So Tornadus just comes back 5-1 to the 1-0. As the guy starts raging in the comments about crits and stuff mattering, which they didn't, and it was just hilarious. Second game was amazing because I'm actually over here, on this side. Someone else using my arm T actually just found me on the ladder, which was absolutely hilarious. I also don't think my team is that good. I mean, it's not. Anyway, I'm playing with Sticky Web. I threw this team together just off Sticky Web stuff I want to try. I was literally like, okay, I want Sticky Web. Well, I want to try Life Orb Heat more. How about Shell Smash Caracosta? I never really used that, but under Sticky Web, probably better than Barbarical. And how about a Guts Ursaring while we're at it? Sneasel's pretty good, and then I'll throw on Drift Bloom as a spin blocker. That's literally the team. That was it. Drifling was actually new. I had Perugly to absorb uh, to get the Defiant boost from Defog, but I'm finding I don't really need it as much, especially since Ursaring is ridiculously good. It is an incredible stall breaker. It does... It, it okos so many things. It's stupid. So, seeing my team, I know it's lead mischievous because that's the whole point. Especially since I have a lead Cricketune with Sticky Web. So, I mean, why wouldn't you lead mischievous? So, I'm actually going to lead Ursaring because my mischievous can't touch me. All I can do is, like, uh, uh, he taunts. I mean, Ursaring. I, okay, it gets Swords Dance, but I mean, no. I'm going to crunch, and uh, he's going to switch out, predicting another crunch. I'm just going to crunch again. I really wanted to Thunder Punch, predicting Scyther or Sneasel, but I am not that real. And at this point, I'm actually going to, like, misclick, really. I No, I didn't misclick. I clicked on Krikatoon, tried to cancel it and go into Karakosta, clearly the better play, but I don't. I still sort of want Krikatoon, go into Karakosta as he u turns which is the good play. I really should have seen that coming. Karakosta takes a lot, because it has no... HP investment or anything. Goes into the Mischievous, as I'm just going to go into my Heat more and absorb the will is Heat more is a really good, underrated mon, in my opinion. I mean, especially under Sticky Web, but it has great special attack. And I'm just going to superpower. He can't really do anything to me, except for Shadow Ball, and I don't think he's going to want to stay in, so Flare on was the obvious switch. As I'm just going to switch out into my Drift Blim, because he's not going to uh, Flare Blitz, and I'm just sort of playing this guy right here. He, um, we had a bit of a talk in the comments. Apparently, he's just more of an OU battler. I actually baton pass for the momentum instead of, like, shadow balling or something, and I can just go into Sneasel and kill Casper's gay cousin. This guy changed the nicknames. I did not come up with these, but, I mean, works. Uh, goes into the fucking bug now. And then, I guess that was a misclick, because he goes into Flareon. I'm just gonna Ice Punch, because, I mean, why not? I know I'm a Violet. I get the Freeze, but it doesn't matter, because I have Ice Shard anyway, so, I mean... Sneasel's faster, so quick attack wouldn't happen. So yeah, that freeze didn't matter. Now he goes into the um, thing. I'm just going to knock off the white herb. Typically is my best way of dealing with Barbarical because I don't have low kick. Knock off the white herb and then just spam priority until I die. I have Aqua Jet, I have Ice Shard, I have Sucker Punch. I even have Drifloom if I have to. Because Drifloom is actually endure weakness policy and then it gets the Unburden. So I'm just going to sack Krikatoon, go into Karakasa, go for the Aqua Jet. Uh, doesn't kill, he's just gonna take me out with a razor shell. Crit did not matter. And, uh, at this point, I can just go into Heatmore and click Sucker Punch. I've had people try to smash up and stop the Sucker Punch, but, I mean, I'm just gonna click Sucker Punch eight times. And I could have gone into Drift Limb and hope he Stone Edge instead of Razor Shell, even though Razor Shell would be the better play. Goes into Raichu, as I know I can live a T-Bolt. I'm just gonna Fire Blast. That does a fuck ton of damage. At this point, he's already seen Sucker Punch. I'm just going to Fire Blast again as he actually goes into Sneasel so he could uh, Ice Shard me, and Sneasel just dies. Predicted. Uh, goes into the Scyther now. He's just going to kill me with a quick attack. I'm pretty much okay with this. I don't really have an issue with that. I can just go into the Drift Blim and fire off a T-Bolt as he wing attacks. That does a lot. Going to go for a T-Bolt, get a crit, which might have matter, but this is max special attack modest drift limb, so he goes into Raichu. I'm gonna endure just to activate my weakness policy so I can be faster and actually kill him because unburden. I'm just using this as a really cool spin blocker and uh turns out timid timid scarf is still faster than modest max speed drift limb after after the unburden boost, which is fucking ridiculous. So now I'm running timid, but uh that was pretty interesting. That was a good game. I, I just thought it was cool that I ran across my own team. Like, what? <laughs> uh, anyway, it's a good game, uh, Skitboy90. 
I hope you guys enjoyed these replays, and a bit of a channel announcement. I'm gonna actually, like, start a Nuzlocke. The Emerald one, that was pretty dumb. I discontinued it, but I used to Nuzlocke a lot. I've completed, like, at least 20 Nuzlocks. I've, I'm good Nuzlocker. I've done a lot, but I haven't Nuzlocked in months, maybe even a year. It, it's been a long time, but I'm starting to get the urge to Nuzlocke again after watching a few Nuzlocks on YouTube. I think Pro Jared's Nuzlocke was the one that really made me want to do one when he actually had a Pokemon survive poisoning when he had no antidotes because he got pick up Pecha Berry at like the clutch time. Spoilers if you haven't seen it, but whatever. Anyway, that's just me rambling on. I'm going to start a Nuzlocke. I'll post one. I'll post the first video sometime soon. I'm thinking Heart Gold Soul Silver. One of those, maybe Storm Silver or a hack or you know, something like that. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed these replays. See you next time. Thanks for watching.